yeah hi my dear winners and i hope you're giving your best shot for this microbiology now i'm going to discuss about actinomycosis in detail with our mind map so already i have given lots of mind maps for most of the bacteria on your group and i hope you're doing with the mind maps okay so the second and most important thing for microbiology particularly bacteria virus fungus and parasitology is a proper mind maps and a proper notes with your handwriting so these notes can be used for further rounds of revision and particularly in the last one month or one and a half month of the preparation which is a key or heart of the preparation okay so revision can be done when your stuff is properly organized with your notes so straight away i'm going with my mind map for this bacteria first of all the first important point to be added is most of the people they consider these organisms as a transitional forms or the transfer forms or organisms which stand in between the bacteria and the fungus okay they stand in between they they are considered as the transformation from a bacteria to the fungus and of course it is a gram positive non sporulating non motile no organisms no extra organisms to organs to move non capsulated non acid fast and the two important bacteria are this just make a note most of your questions will move around these two bacteria and these are normally present in your mouth intestine vesina as a commercials and the the mode of the mode of entry of these organisms uh, is by the by the breakdown or the uh, disturbance or or the crack or the basically the entry of these organisms into the body is by breaking the mucosal barriers in all these areas that is the mouth sorry that is the mouth intestine and the vesina and uh, uh, basically uh, the etiology in most of the cases can be a trauma uh, a foreign body or a poor oral hygiene and, and most of your case description questions related to this uh, they can give a description of recent recently extraction uh, extraction or trauma trauma to that of the mandible or recent extraction of impaction or the most common histories are given regularly for this infection these are considered as endogenous infections okay you can see the sulfur granules okay sun ray ray like okay so it's the most common uh, uh, picture based description of this particular bacteria so next comes is uh, the clinical uh, features of this and most commonly seen in 10 to 30 years of age uh, you can consider this as uh, a chronic granulomatous infection and you can see uh, indurated swelling you can see a clear indurated swelling at the angle of the mandible okay so your questions uh, in your um, general path even in your general path uh, this was the most commonly asked question which was chronic granulomatous infection you can go for the answer as actinomycosis and uh, the discharge contains the sulfur granules most of them they give a beautiful description based question or they can give, simply give this diagram and they can tell upon uh, upon the examination of the specimen or the biopsy uh, we can clearly f- clearly see a sulfur granules you can directly go for actinomycosis as uh, the answer so coming to the clinical types and few textbooks they give click three clinical types Uh, but there are few textbooks giving it as a four clinical types okay the clinical types goes as following the one is oro cervico facial which is the most common again this is the most commonly asked question oro cervico facial is the most common and the most common occurrence area of this actinomycosis in the oro cervical facial is the angle of the mandible okay so i mean questions commonly asked what is lumpicha okay lumping cha or lumpy cha okay the answer is actinomycosis okay so they can give a description based question this is the most common at the angle of the mandible that is the oro cervico facial so the next types goes the type 2 is thoracic thoracic is mainly concerned with the lesion in the lungs and the pleura and affecting the pericardium okay all these areas uh, are involved uh, in the case of uh, the thoracic type 
and the next the third one is abdominal type uh, in which the abdominal wall is most commonly affected okay and following the last one that is the pelvic type uh, which is most commonly seen with uh, with a with a women or uh, people who are using intrauterine devices and basically you can see the abscess around ar around the bone and the soft tissue and the very important peculiar feature of this acnomycosis and the question is chronic draining sinuses okay so they can ask you like sulfur granules is a common finding apart from that multiple okay multiple sinus openings okay multiple sinus openings or multiple sinus openings with abscess you can go for actinomycosis don't get confused multiple periodontal abscess is seen in the case of your diabetes mellitus okay it's again most commonly asked question for the dental students multiple periodontal abscess if you see an individual in the oral cavity oral manifestation then you can uh, diagnose it as diabetes mellitus multiple pulp stones on radiograph okay you can you can diagnose it as rubberman syndrome rubberman syndrome will have multiple pulp stones on the radiographs multiple periodontal abscess are seen in the case of diabetes mellitus and multiple sinus openings with abscess and with the silver sulfur granules are seen in the case of your actinomycosis the most important microscopic feature that you have to make a note is sulfur granules you can see them like even if you're taking the abscess out few times you can see small small granule like things okay they are sulfur granules and and morphologically you can see the bacteria are long branched mycelium like they look like a fungus okay so these are the uh, diagram based things that uh, you need to focus on particularly for this type of bacteria you can see in the first diagram when you are opening your sinus tract is opening out and when you are removing the pus or the discharges you can see some uh, some sort of uh, sulfur like uh, granules in this in these patients okay and uh, of course the most important uh, diagnostic future microscopically used to identify this particular organisms is the presence of sulfur granules okay so that's an important point to be added this is the most important future okay and the next important uh, uh, notes to be added is Uh, the sulfur granules are bacteria colonies basically uh, which are found in dense network with gram positive filaments okay you can see this gram positive uh, filament like structures okay and this gives a a sun ray appearance okay it gives a sun ray appearance okay so upon radiograph you can see sun ray appearance in osteosarcoma okay in most of the bone cancers you can see sun ray appearance okay of course and upon microscopic examination you can see sun ray appearance in actinomycosis okay i hope uh, you're clear okay and uh, you can see the colonies in the form of molars okay uh, they appear like molar tooth appearance the colonies appears like molar tooth appearance you can see molar tooth like uh, appearance okay i hope you are very clear with this diagram based things one is sulfur granules is the most important microscopic uh, method by which you can identify the next one is goes the sun ray appearance is seen in the case of microscopic picture of this organisms and the colonies uh, on on uh, on on the agar plate uh, sorry the colonies on the uh, culture medium they they appears like a uh, a molar tooth like appearance okay and mostly the granules of uh, your actinomycosis uh, they appear yellow colored okay they appeared yellow colored okay so these are uh, the very important points that you have to make a note particularly to uh, these type of bacteria so apart from that uh, i want you guys to make a note about the culture medium okay the culture medium used for this bacteria so one is uh, you can use a brain heart infusion agar okay so the brain heart infusion agar is 
one culture medium that is used most commonly for these bacteria and the second one is thio glycolate liquid medium so one is brain heart infusion agar and the second one is uh, you can use thio glycolate liquid medium so these two mediums are used in diagnosis so apart from the molar tooth like appearance or sun ray appearance or presence of sulfur granules there are few uh, cases where your uh, where where your acnomycosis can be found as small spidery colonies you can see here uh, apart from uh, uh apart from the sun ray appearance you can you can diagnose it roughly looks like a spider spider like colonies okay spider like uh, colonies okay so these are the important points that you have to make a note related to this particular bacteria and you can make a note uh, again this is the most commonly asked question that is the drug of choice for this is the penicillins okay penicillins are the drug of choice for example if a person is having a history of allergic to the penicillin and diagnosed with this particular disease then you can think of giving tetracyclines okay so these are the points to be added there is one beautiful uh, case based question uh, given uh, in your textbook okay so it's very easy to identify the case based question is very good and uh, most of the uh, points whatever we have discussed right now are already covered in it okay i'm just going to repeat it the case based question a 20 year old woman presented to the surgical outpatient department with a soft tissue swelling on the left jaw okay uh, which was painless which was cover covered with exudate on examination a discharging sinus was found she has a history of trauma to that area and uh, the pus was sent for the culture test upon macroscopic examination a sulfur granule was found in the exudate and gram stain of the, these granules shows the presence of some branching gram positive filament like structure and the patient was diagnosed with cervical actinomycosis and 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 the drug of choice that is given to this particular patient is the penicillin i hope we are very clear so this is how a diagram based uh, clinical approach question can be made in this particular area okay so that is that is uh, that is of more important okay so just uh, for your uh, sake uh, i want you guys to add few more important points this particular disease actinomycosis is most commonly seen in uh, rural areas okay so it's less in urban areas it is more in the uh, low developed areas uh, and uh, young males okay young males of age 10 to 30 years old are the most commonly affected okay young males of 10 to 30 year old are most commonly affected and the reason for this is not known okay about 60% of the cases are cervical facial okay and uh, 20% is cases are abdominal okay so that these are the points to be added and out of all the types of this actinomycosis what we have discussed uh, pelvic actinomycosis are most commonly seen in the women because they are the main reason why the occurrence of uh, pelvic actinomycosis is basically due to the use of intrauterine drugs i hope you are very clear about this particular uh, organism okay i'll go back and just have a quick decent recap okay so these are gram positive sporulating non motile sorry gram positive non motile non sporulating non capsulated non acid fast and the entry is by a trauma or uh, by some invasion into the body okay and uh, make a note most commonly seen in the males 10 to 30 years of age except uh, the pelvic type which is most commonly seen in the case of females okay the type that is most common is oro cervical facial it's also called as lumpy jaw it's most commonly seen at the angle of the mandible and rest all types are this and uh, questions may move around this type okay so all these are clear so diagram based everything is very clear molar shape okay you can spider spidery web like thing like sun ray appearance 
uh, okay and the culture mediums that are used and everything drug of choice is penicillin if it doesn't work or allergic then you can think of tetracycline okay thank you for now uh, this is dr shrikant signing off from team mds conquer okay if you like this video you can please do like it share it and subscribe make a note you must subscribe this because uh, you will get a notification if any further up videos are uploaded re related to the preparation okay if you have any doubts uh, or if you need any inquiry related to mds conquer or anything okay please do drop us in the comment box so that we may help you thank you all stay safe